Do you remember a while back, I spoke to you about a little program that we have at the monastery called Little Britain? One day I'll show you a little documentary of how we do that at the monastery. But today I've brought with me a little specimen of that. They're inspired by what they see, what Mahindahamru does, what Bakulahamru does, taking the Dhamma far and wide, across the world, across the oceans, and how the Dhamma has transformed them and therefore they want to do the same for others. Young children, they're inspired because that is the association they get. They get noble association. No wonder they're inspired by noble association. They don't, they don't get on a, on a sofa and try to jump off it because it's not Superman that inspires them. They're inspired by the Mahasangha. So with what they see day in, day out, they want to do. That's why when they were at home, they wanted to become engineers, because you were one. They wanted to become doctors, because you were one. But their parents knew better, and therefore they gave their sons to the sasana. Now they look at what the fathers and the mothers in the sasana do. They look at what the Buddha did, and now they want to do that. Which is to heal as many people as they possibly can in their lifetime. I have brought along with me today a little specimen of that. It's not very little. One day I'll bring you a little one. But this young gentleman is only 15 years of age. I was so impressed by him because one day he walked up to me and in whatever little English he could put together, he said, Nakandro, are you also join uh, Little Britain? I asked him, how much English do you know? Uh, not know, but try. So I asked him, have you, uh, did you have, uh, did you learn English at school? As a subject, he'd learned. He'd, he'd tried to go to an English medium school, but none were available where he lived. So he's, he'd learned in the singular medium, but now looking at what his great, his elder brothers are doing and his newfound parents are doing in the sasana, he wants to also become someone who can spread the Dhamma to many people far and wide. Because his target is eight billion. Small heart, but a big ambition. So I want you to hear from him. I brought him along today because I wanted to give him a gift, the gift of Pindapatha. Maybe we'll try next week. Because the weather is not too kind today. But I want you to hear from him. He's still learning the language. But I want you to see what a young mind can do, what a young heart can do when it's rightly inspired, when the right ambitions are set in place, when associating the right kind of people and having the right attitudes, how far our young people are willing to go. He doesn't live for himself. You know, he doesn't love to live. He lives to love. So, would you come up here, please? May the noble triple gem bless you all. Uh, my name is Ramji Chandiva. Uh, I'm 15 years old. When I came to monastery, I can't talk English, but I really like to learn English. In my school also, I don't have English medium. But I very like to Engl know English. And after I came to monastery, uh, there are some English medium students in with me, my friends, and I tried to talk with them. And also, after a few more days, my teacher knew you can I can learn English, 
and my teacher told to talk with others i did it uh, after that i can talk more than when i come to monastery after i went to school and our school principal put me into great an english medium and it's very helpful to my english studies and after that all our teachers and everyone get uh, no knew about my english and after and um, i think after one year they started lb uh, little britain and they put me into little britain when i am going to little britain i can't talk english that much very more than grammar mistakes na that uh, in this time but i can talk then when i come to little britain and i come to little britain i knew something because why i have to learn english because most of the people being are suffering from something our nagadev was telling about what is the suffer and most of them suffering but i got the truth and i know how to live from that i practicing but most of them don't know because of that we have to tell to others but singhala is common language in sri lanka in other countries don't know about that but most of them knew no english language because of that it's very helpful to spread them and i think i have to learn english more, way more better than this and i have to practice because we have to salvate people i think everyone can do this uh, all of people are know english you can help others from this dhamma and tell this dhamma and sorry tell this dhamma and we leave everyone from this suffer you can help if you help you can get help that that's why what you give what you get and you can do this may every one of them can do this that's uh, that's why i came here may the noble three and james not so little after all eh these are the sons of the buddha see what great value the parents of this child have instilled within him today he is someone who earns respect and people are willing to worship at his feet soon enough that will happen once he has completed his anagarika program we don't ordain them until they are 18 but even as an anagarika he's ob- he observes the 10 precepts you observe 6 He observes ten. He does his pratyeksha before he takes his meals. He practices the dhamma day in day out. Wakes up at four o'clock in the morning. Practices till ten in the evening. He lives among the sangha. Therefore, he has become the sangha. Did you hear why he wanted to learn the language? so that he could get into medical school yes so that he could get himself a good job yes earn lots of money yeah no those are things of the past he doesn't undermine himself any more like that he realizes his human life is far more valuable than that <clears throat> I wanted to give you a small sample of what you do for the sasana and where those contributions go. These are the great warriors in the making. When I leave this world one day, there should be a hundred of me. No, a hundred better than me. If I can do so much. A hundred people who are better than me can do a lot more than that. That is why we live to love. Once you take out the love to live, then all there is is the living to love. Fifteen years of age. Fifteen. How old are you now? but he has the gift 
He has the Dhamma. If you have a problem, he has the answer. You are 55, he's 15. He doesn't vex. He's not afraid. He doesn't want to watch TV. He can if he wants to. He doesn't want to. He doesn't find entertainment in listening to music. He enjoys giving goodness, giving wholesomeness to other people, healing hearts and mending minds. I just wanted to give you a sample of what your offerings have gone into making. Because every child at the monastery, we have to look after them. I can give them the Dhamma, but I can't give them the requisites. All that comes from your offerings. I just wanted to show you that they have all been meaningful. One of these days, I'll bring you a small Bhatta. He's one of the Ayas in the LB. You should see the Mallis as well. Each one as good as the next. Rejoice, ladies and gentlemen, rejoice. This is the Sri Sambuddha Sasana bearing fruit. Hmm? And one day, we will change the world. We will help people. We will heal them. We will cure their mental suffering. We will take them out of their miserable lives. We will take them out of poverty by teaching them it is by giving that they receive. We will heal cancer by stopping people from becoming a cancer to society. We can do that. The Dhamma can heal. The Dhamma is panacea. It is the answer to all problems. So I want all of you to feel that as mothers and fathers, you have witnessed one of your sons. Because truth be told, in this journey of sansara, you will have all been mothers and fathers to that child. You have all guided him in one way or the other to get to where he is today. Today, the Mahasanga look after him. But to bring him so far as to come close to us, Every mother and every father in Sansara played their part. I'll tell you more about Little Britain in future. Because right now it's in the oven. And it's cooking. Oh, wait till it comes out of the oven. Then it will be a force to be reckoned with. <laughs> we have a little agenda. <laughs> Mara, beware. We are coming. <laughs> <laughs>